Hi everyone, if you are preparing for CAT 2023 or other entrance exam in 2023, then this is a must attend video session for you. So I have started a free series uh, for LRDI preparation for CAT 2023 and uh, the sessions are conducted on Anakinmi learning app at 8 p.m. So what I thought is uh, before I conduct uh, uh, that session, before I discuss the questions in that session, why not to share those data sets with you? So in this video, I'm going to share uh, the questions that I'm going to discuss in the 8 p.m. session. So I'll share those questions with you so that you can get a chance to go through them. You can also give a try and then you can join me for that 8 p.m. session. The link of that session has been provided in the description and you can understand the complete solution. You can also verify your answer. So, so let me quickly show you what is the agenda for the session. So I'll display the data sets uh, for the 8 p.m. session and uh, by the way that's a free class for everyone. Then I'll also provide a brief explanation about the situation that what is this data all about. I'll not give you as such any hints or something for the questions that you will have to try by your own and then we'll discuss at 8 p.m. But yes you will get a fair idea that how to tackle this site or what is it about. We will also discuss uh, the solution and detail discussion will take place at 8 p.m. on Anakinmi Learning App. In case if you haven't downloaded Anakinmi Learning App, you can download it and you can unlock it with code chart and so that you can join me using the link that I have provided in the description. Right. So as I mentioned, the link has been provided in the description. Right. In case if you are new to my session, guys, this is a bit about myself. So you can quickly take a glance and you can also be part of my Telegram channel. So the link has been again provided in the description. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you four caselets. Uh, one is based on quantitative reasoning, another based on charts and calculation based EI, then reasoning based EI and a, a set based on Venn diagram and set theory. All most of the sets are uh, at the at par with CAT level. But um, yes, definitely you can give a try and uh, then you can join me for the session to understand the complete solution. So here is the set number one. This is first set of today's class. In fact, this I started discussing yesterday, but I'm going to discuss it once again today at the beginning because a couple of questions were left. So it is about a research agency conducted a survey across eight countries to analyze the crime statistics in each country during a certain year. Now, if you want, you can uh, just keep this part and you can directly look at the questions that I'm going to show right now. So yeah, you can um, just uh, pause the video and you can look at the questions. The questions are over here. So because in case if you want to try it by your own, I'm sure uh, you may not want to uh, look at uh, my briefing. Okay, so that's why I'm displaying these questions. These are the questions, right? So let's quickly understand what is this uh, set all about? So it's about a survey that this research agency conducted about the crime statistics in each country. It collected information on incidence of crime per capita. Per capita means per person and the number of policemen per capita present in each country. This information is pre uh, presented in the bubble chart form. So the chart that you see on your screen is called a bubble chart. Uh, probably some part of chart might be hidden behind me. So yeah, I'll just try to show you the complete chart on the next slide. And a vertical axis, that is this y-axis indicates the incidence of crime per capita. It's actually not per person, it's presented as the number of crimes that occurred per thousand people. So just to simplify this part for you guys, um, one more thing has been mentioned that all the values are measured at the center of the bubble. Okay, so for example, if you look at say South Africa, so the center of South Africa bubble is somewhere over here. Okay, so I can say that number of uh, crimes, incidence of crimes per thousand people. So in South Africa, you can say the number of crimes are approximately close to 60. Of course, it will be slightly less than 60 because this bubble goes a bit below this line. So center will be shifted a little uh, downward, but still we can say there are approximately 60 crimes per thousand people. Okay, so this is how you need to interpret. You are also given population of South Africa, which is 45 million. So now you can calculate that for every thousand people, the number of crimes are 45. So for 45 million, million means 10 raised to 6, how many crimes will be taking place? So this is how you can get the actual value of number of crimes for South Africa. Similarly, you can do the calculation for others. Horizontal axis, the total population of the country is shown in millions. So it's very simple. You just need to locate the center of that uh, circle and you can quickly calculate total population. For example, for Malaysia, it will be slightly less than 25 million. So something like 23, 24 million or so. Okay. 
size of the bubble the size or the diameter of the bubble in the chart represents the number of policemen per lakh people okay so for example if i look at belgium okay <clears throat> now acha we are given this uh, point uh, information also the number of policemen per 1 lakh people is 210 in france and 350 in belgium some part is going behind me so i am reading it out for you the number of policemen per 1 lakh people is 210 in france and 350 in belgium okay so guys if you look at belgium the width or the diameter of uh, the bubble is 2 units i am considering this as one unit okay so this is one unit so if diameter is this much so it's two units diameter so two units indicates <clears throat> 350 policemen 350 policemen per 1 lakh population now this is what makes this set a little complicated okay so in belgium the number of policemen are not 350 it's the 350 per 1 lakh population so the population in belgium is given as 10 lakh because the center is over here on this line so it is 10 million not 10 lakhs it's 10 million so you can calculate that what are the actual number of policemen over there once again if you are not able to understand that you can join me for the 8 pm session where i'll explain that in detail so make sure that you are joining me for that okay fine here are the question once again so you can give a try for the questions and then you can verify your answer during the session right now let's look at the next uh, question but before that guys just want to quickly tell you that this offer is ending tomorrow you are uh, you can save up to 30% so by applying this code you will get 20% discount and you can save yourself from the upcoming price rise so yeah you can go for plus or iconic subscription for the comprehensive preparation using my code chart10 okay new batches are coming up so yeah that's one thing now the second set set number 2 it's on venn diagram but it's a slightly tricky set okay the venn diagram looks very simple uh, so yeah it gives information about number of students of a class who passed in one or more subjects out of the four subject that is maths physics hindi and english uh, english is represented by rectangle similarly hindi maths physics are represented by different ge geometrical figures in the figure above the number of students belong to any particular combination that is combination of subjects passed in which is not shown as zero so for example guys how many students how many students can um, passed uh, say um, let me take up some region which is uh, not shown ha huh. let's look at this part right so can i say this is part of uh, rectangle as well as circle so it's at the intersection of rectangle and circle okay so how many students passed only in english and maths that is only in english and maths okay so it's zero zero students have passed in only english and maths as per this region but yeah but there is no other region which is common to circle and rectangle so we can say zero students have passed in english and maths only so that means there are students who have passed english maths and one more subject or there are students who have passed only in english or only in maths but both english and maths only that number is zero so this is what it says so keeping this in mind guys you need to answer this question the questions are slightly tricky it requires sharp observation skill okay um, so yeah give it try and then we'll discuss the solution so here is the first question then question number 2 question number 3 and question number 4 so you can pause the video over here and try for that question and you can mark your answer you can also post it in the comment section and let me tell you guys i'm also going to conduct few more sessions so tomorrow also i'll release a video like this and then you can join me at 8 pm uh, to verify your answer or if you are watching this video uh, say at the later stage still you can try the question by your own and then click on that link the you can watch the solution okay so let's move to set number 3 and this is once again a very interesting set guys uh it's about mlas in a state uh, cast their votes for electing the chairman of a certain public administration committee there were four candidates ravi aditya suraj and surya running for the above mentioned post and uh, each of the representative constituency each of the respective constituency that this mla represent is known to have a population of either 1 lakh or 2 lakh or 5 lakh so guys that is what they have mentioned each mla gets uh, to cast only one vote uh, 
However, the value of the votes of an MLA is determined as 1000 of the population of the constituency that he represents and this is what makes it slightly more complicated. You know, in actual exam, if you come across such sad, it may surprise you, right? So this is what we need to try from this point of time onwards. We need to expose ourselves to different situation and uh, at this stage, rather than solving it just by your own, you can definitely give a try. But try to solve such question under the mentoring of a faculty. Okay, so for example, you can sit in my session and then you can understand uh, how to solve such question. So over a period of time, you will develop that skill to comprehend by your own, right? So yeah, guys, uh, now what is the meaning of this? The value of the vote of an MLA is determined as 1000th of the population of the constituency that he represents. Let's talk about Ravi. Okay, let's talk about, uh, in fact, Suraj. Okay, so can I say from 1 lakh population constituency, 3 MLAs, 3 MLAs have given votes to Suraj. Okay, now see the votes will be considered as the value of the vote will be 1000th of the population. So 1 lakh, guys 1 lakh or let me just write it this way, 1 lakh divide by 1000. What is this value? 1 lakh divide by 1000. Can we say it's 100? right so one value of one vote is 100 so if three mls has voted suraj got 300 votes you can say uh, the value of votes is equal to 300 from the constituency which are of one lakh population similarly you can calculate uh, that uh, from two lakh population only one mla has voted for suraj so value of that vote will be 200 so suraj got 200 value votes from 2 lakh population constituency and from 5 lakh the value of each vote will be 500 9 MLAs have voted so this will come out to be 4500 so total value of votes for Suraj is 4500 plus 300 plus 200 that is 5000 so total value of vote of Suraj will be 5000 similarly we need to calculate that for others and based on that the winner will be declared so I really hope you have understood the scenario now let me show you the questions so here is the first question Okay, you can give a try. You can post your answer in the comments if you wish. Here is the second question and then third question. So there are three questions in this. This is slightly lengthy. I hope the complete data is readable. Okay, now guys, this is the fourth set, set number four of today, which I'm going to discuss during our 8 p.m. session. The session will be of 90 minutes. That is 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. So make sure that all of you are joining me for that so that you can uh, have comprehensive learning. I'll never discuss this sets once again uh, in the coming days. So guys, if you are missing one session of mine, this is a free session, so anyone can attend it. If you are missing one session, you are missing certain varieties of sets. So make sure you are attending all the sessions. Five persons, Vinay, Pavan, Santosh, Raghu and Govind ate a certain number of apple and banana. The number of apples that they ate were this, this, this and banana numbers are given, but in some order. So basically in this set, we just need to find out who ate how many fruits, right? Uh, this is a typical quantitative reasoning sets where you are given certain things. Santosh had thrice as many banana as the number of apples we need and so on. So you need to use a bit of quantitative reasoning. Along with that, I can also call it a kind of arrangement based set, arrangement of numbers, right? So I, I think this is slightly easy one compared to the others. So yeah, give a try for this. And here are the questions of the set. One. Question number two, question number three, and question number four. We'll discuss all these questions during a session at 8 p.m. The link has been provided in the description. Make sure to join me for that. And for more updates about my sessions and what all I do, you can uh, just subscribe to this Telegram channel. You can be part of this Telegram channel. Apart from that, make sure that all of you have watched my Basics of Math series. Uh, once again, that complete series uh, uh, links have been provided in the description and I have designed 12 free tests based on those basics of math sessions. So make sure after every session you are taking the test. This will ensure that uh, you will have solid foundation, especially if you are a non-mathematics student. So yeah, this is what uh, I can do the best for you, right? So keep learning guys. And uh, once again, there's a gentle reminder about this Republic Day offer, which is ending very soon. So go for that and keep learning guys.